Hi, uh, this is Olle. Today I'm going to show you how to do an end credit roll uh, with an image uh, instead of a flash uh, so that everybody can do it. Uh, it's quite simple. Um, I'm going to show you a sample here. I have the, this background and I have uh, a layer on top of that consisting of an image. Uh, this image, it's not representative here, but uh, I'll show you later. I start that on a la another layer, layer 10 in this case. As you can see here, it rolls up the screen. Uh, if it stutter, it's because it's, I'm screen capturing. Okay, let's stop that one. What was it then? It was like this image here. So I have a, 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 a really large um, Photoshop image with all the text. The important thing here is to do it uh, the correct way. So you have to, uh, w when you start uh, making this, uh, you have to be precise regarding the width of the image. So if I want to do it for a full HD, I have to make the image 1920 wide the height uh, i can just crop the image in the in the end let's hide this one as you can see it's, it's a large image or high image the width is important uh, you also have to make the 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 text a separate layer and to create an, an alpha channel from that layer. I'm going to show that show you that in another tutorial later, how you do an alpha channel for Caspar or for any video that way. Uh, I made an alpha channel from from the text layer from the image. It looks like this. So this is the alpha image. Uh, then I have to place a black black background because it's pre-multiplied pre in Casper if you want it uh, and then I save the image as a 32-bit TGA uh, I'm gonna show you this with with another image uh, this one uh, like this so here I have uh, another long image so I can have images inside the image like this. Uh, I create a, an alpha channel for that. Uh, and I place a black background. It should be really black, 000 RGB. And I save it as a 32-bit TGA. Okay, uh, then I have two other images I'm gonna use here. Uh, I, I have a, like a foreground and I want to scroll, uh, roll the, the, the text between these two blue uh, ribbons. And I also have a background, which I want to use as a background for the end credit roll. I move these files to uh, to Kaspar, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, they're on Kaspar now. Then I go to uh, let's hide those. And I go to Kaspar and I refresh the library like this. And let's do like this. Okay, uh, I've searched for credit, cred, uh, and here I have a couple of credits. Uh, and I want to use the background, uh, which is this one. So I add that one. I will, will use the foreground, this one. You know you can, you can see the alpha channel by pressing the eye like this. 
And I want to have the, the, the long image that I made. You, you can't see it here. You can see it if I do like this. It's look like squeezed. But I, I want to use the one I created and transferred. The important thing here is to do add as image scroller, not add as image. Add as image scroller. Then it becomes a, a scrolling image. So I can run that now. If I play it, see it, it doesn't look too good because it's gray. But if I place uh, the background on a, a layer below, because you can see here layer 10. So if I place this on layer nine, oh, my disk is almost full. And I place this one on top of that uh, on 11 then. And this one on can stay on 10. And then I group them. So if I run them now, I will do like this. Then I can change the speed. Uh, for example, if I have this, I can uh, speed it up. So it will be like this. Oh, not too good. Uh, I can also add a bit of horizontal motion blur, vertical motion blur, and uh, I have a, a couple of other options here I can use. And I can, of course, I can fade them in, so I can uh, choose mix by my favorite 12 frames, mix by 12 frames and I can delay this one uh, like 12 frames also so now it will be fading in this okay that's all for today thank you and good night